There is a lot of nutrition packed into one little bag. It's a meal that costs less than 25 cents. But the effect they have on hungry kids around the world is unmatched. Jordan is at the Green Bay Mobile Pack for Feed My Starving Children, where hairnets are required and they look good on everyone. Brings me back to my Sarah Lee days from New London. That was my job in high school working at the meat processing facility. So that's, I, I'm very accustomed to wearing these. Now, we're with Maggie with Feed My Starving Children, and you have an awesome operation going on here. Tell us about it a little bit. Well, here we're at one of our mobile pack events where we come all over the country to into your communities to pack alongside you guys. Here we're packing over 700,000 meals. Wow. Um, it's going to be a lot of kids that will be fed through this event, and it's just such an exciting opportunity. Now, how can people get involved? Do you, is this one of those organizations where you guys require uh, monetary donations, or do you prefer the canned goods, or how does that work? So what we do is we um, equip volunteers to pack all of these meals, um, not just at our permanent sites, but again in mobile pack events all across the country. You can see if we're coming to your area by going to fmsc.org. Mm -hmm. Click that volunteer button. If you would like to donate financially, there's a way for you to do so as well. Our meal cost is only 24 cents a meal, so you can make a really, a really big impact through a small donation. You have some pretty shocking statistics, too, on you know all the children in need around the world. Yeah, every day about 6,200 children will die due to hunger-related causes. And as an organization, as well as as a community, we've decided that that number is way too big. And so we are all going to work together until that number is all the way down to zero. 6,200 a day. Okay, so this is what you, we're, we're packing here today. It's going to look a lot like this. It's super easy to make, and we're going to go make one right now. All right, Tim, let's yep. talk about this, uh, the, the process in which this is done. Give yep. me a lowdown here. Yeah, you know, it's pretty easy. Uh, we're scooping the, the vitamins and minerals, which are in a chicken flavoring, which they then scoop the veggies. Uh, one cup of rice, one cup of uh, soy protein goes down the funnel, then goes gets, and gets weighed. The, each bag's got to be about the same weight for uh, shipping purposes. It gets sealed, and then it goes down to the boxer, and we've got uh, two sets of stations funneling down to, to one boxer. We've got 20 of those stations in here accommodating up to 400 people. Now, I think the big thing, too, is... Anybody can come here. Anybody. You have a job for anybody of any age. Yep, absolutely. Uh, kids as young as five uh, are able to help out, uh, and it's great because it's kids feeding kids. You know, it doesn't yeah, get much right. better. Teaching them to serve others. Um, you know, if you're, you're older, you have problems standing, we have chairs, we have other sit-down jobs. Yeah, just come down, we'll have something for you to do. The other thing, too, is I, I walked in here and I saw some things. You have a cool lobby. But I walked through here and I saw right. this operation and my eyes lit up and it was just fantastic. You just want people to get down here and see what this is all about. Just see it, yeah. You should walk through those doors when there's 400 people in here. They're all yelling and cheering a chant when they... Um, when they they pack a box yeah. and the music's going it's a great time it's all about fun guys and this goes on till thursday so there's plenty of time for you guys to come down and donate your time okay thanks jordan we're looking forward to being there this afternoon